there, it's Cassie. Welcome back for another Trinity Stamps video. Today we are going to be making a teetering card. Y'all said you loved the card that I made, so we are going to use a different color palette and we are going to make it. So this stamp set is called the Balancing Act stamp set. We have the matching dies to go with it. We're also using the Star Struck stencil. We have the Slimline Twist and Slide dies. And then we're also going to be pulling in the smallest die from the Embossed Edge Circle Stacks die. And then we have our papers for that are for a five by seven card. So this is a little bit smaller than a five by seven. This pink piece has cut down to four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And I'm taking my star struck stencil and I am going to use some post-it tape just to cover up those areas so that I don't end up getting any ink where I don't want it. <laughs> I do anyway, but we, we work with it. I'll pull out a blender buddy and then I'm using my sweet petunia pink ink and then I'm going to blend that all over the stencil. So over here, the stencil shifts a little bit and uh, I have to reposition it, but it's okay. I caught it before it did too much damage, uh, but I'm not worried about it because we're gonna be shifting this stencil anyway and doing just a little bit more with it. And I'm excited to share that with you too. So this stencil is cool all, but all on its own, but we are going to remove all that tape, clean off the pink that's on there, and then we're gonna shift it ever so slightly and put it back on. So I'm lining it up and then what I'm doing is those middle stars, I am lining that up, just shifting it so that they will all be perfectly aligned. Now, some of those stars are going to overlap each other in other areas, but it's it really is such a cool look. I can't wait till you see what this looks like afterwards. So I'll use a little bit more so that I don't get any of my Nouveau Glimmer paste in places I don't want it. <laughs> I do anyway, but we can fix that too. So I'll pull off the cap. I've got a palette knife and we are gonna scrape this stuff on like butter. This color is called Pink Opal. It is a Glimmer Paste by Nouveau. And we're gonna try and hit all those stars. And then we want this to be fairly thin because I do have to run this through a die cutting machine after everything is dry. Uh, you could wait and you could add this afterwards, but I actually wasn't thinking about that. So we've put it all back in there. We're going to close up the lid, peel this back, and you'll see I do get a little bit of that at the bottom, but I'll scrape it away. No big deal. And then check this out. How cool is that? Just to shift it just a little bit and you get even more stars. So pretty. So I'm going to set that off to the side to dry. And then we'll pull out our images from that balancing act stamp set and put that on to some express it cardstock. And then we're gonna ink this up with some blackout ink by ink on three. Good combo for alcohol marker coloring. So I'll stamp that down and then we'll jump right into our coloring. For our yellows, we have some Y06. We're gonna use that for his hair. We're also gonna use it for his shoes. I know f some of you said you just can't stand clowns, but as soon as you saw this one, you thought it was so cute. And I'm with you. Although looking at this clown definitely reminds me of my childhood right before going to school. We always had Bozo the Clown on. <laughs> I think he was out of Chicago. And we always watched him and Cookie and kids getting to throw the ball in the bucket and try to win like a bike. So cool. <laughs> All right, moving on, we're gonna color our pup just like my pup, I can't help it. So I've brought in some W4, my pup is white with black spots. And so we're gonna add some W4, we're gonna add some W6, and we're also gonna bring in for our darker shade W8. And then we'll go backwards and blend those out. Mostly just using the W4 uh, because I find that the W8 and the W6 weren't too harsh. So I'll bring in that W4 just a little. And then I'm also going to bring in a W0 to make sure that the lines aren't real harsh where the W4 meets the rest of the white. Then we're going to bring in that W6 and 8 for the bike. We're using it on the tire, also on the pedal and his seat. And then for our darker shade, bringing in that W8 just in a couple of areas. Now we're bringing in some pink. So I've got RV06 and RV09. That's gonna go on his nose, his mouth, also on the little ruffle around his stomach. And then we're not gonna blend out that RV09. We're gonna leave that just the way it is. We'll also put it on our pup. 
and then we'll bring in some green. We've got YG25, that's going to be for his outfit, and YG17 for his darker shade. And again, we won't blend that out. It's not so harsh that we have to. And then we'll do that for the cups. And then we also have to color. Uh, just since I'm leaving him entirely white, I brought in a W3 just to add a little bit of shading on him. And then for our monkey, we've got YR24. That's going to be the base for his entire little body. And then we'll bring in some YR27. And then we'll blend those two. So I'll leave his little belly just as the YR24 and also his little mouth and ears. And blend that out just a little bit. Now we've got to bring in our matching dies. And I'm going to tack that down with just a little bit of washi tape, all of those. And then when that's all set, we'll run that through our die cutting machine. And we'll get these perfectly die cut, adorable little images. Love these. They're so cute. And the color combos you could do are endless. So much fun. While I've got the die cutting machine out, I'm also going to take some leftover pink cardstock and I'm going to take the smallest circle from our embossed edge circle stacks die and run that through and then I'm also going to take the little circle from the slimline twist and slide dies now I didn't need to do this part because I hadn't thought that far ahead because I will end up having one but just so that you know you'll need these two pieces these are going to be our anchors behind our image and through the holes and you'll see what I mean as we go along now I'm going to stamp out my sentiments so I've got the two, two of the sentiments from this stamp set, I am going to use a magic powder bag, ink up my sentiments with that juicy embossing ink, stamp those down, cover that with some white embossing powder, and then heat set that till that is smooth and melted. And then in amazing Trinity Stamps fashion, we have matching dies for the sentiments, which I love. And we'll run that through the die cutting machine also and set those off to the side. We will need to go ahead and assemble all of our little people and critters on top of each other just the way you'd want it so I'm gonna have our monkey holding the little spinning plate the pup is gonna be standing on the monkey's head teetering some teacups on his nose <laughs> or her nose and then we have to put them right behind our clown so I'll put a little bit of glue on the feet and put our clown down so we have this nice long line of all these things that are teetering on top of each other you need to do this so that you can kind of figure out where your your holes are going to be. So once I've figured out how I'm going to have that, I'm going to pull in a T ruler along with a um, a pen, a black pen that I've got. This is a Copic multi liner, and then this is where I am drawing in my tightrope. So that's what he's going to be teetering on. All right, I lined it up so that the biggest part of our clown would be right over the center. So that's where I'm going to put my hole, my bigger hole. And so I'm just using, once again, that comes from the slimline twist and slide die. I'll run that through my die cutting machine. And then I'm also going to need another, like a hole punch that is going to be smaller. And that's going to go where the tires would be. So I'm using a crop dial because that'll reach in there. But use what you have. And so now I've got my two holes. And this is where the big circle die and the smaller circle die come into play. You'll use a foam square. This foam square is going to be a little too big for our smallest hole. So I'm going to cut that into fourths and that will work just fine. I will stick that right in the center of our small circle die. And that's going to go right in that center of our smallest hole. We'll use a full foam dot and we'll center that onto our biggest circle die and then we'll stick that through as well. Line those up sort of in the center and then I'll peel off that release paper for both of those and then we can stick our images right down on top so the tire and his little head and that's all it takes. That's all he's stuck to but it will help him so that he's teetering while he is on that tightrope. How cute is that? And then our next step is to use foam tape behind. You could use one layer of foam tape, but I want to make sure that these guys are going to really wiggle around. So I, my foam tape is a pretty thick foam tape, and I'm going to put that all around the perimeter. And then the next step would be, so I don't interrupt the mechanism, I'm going to move those to one side. Then I can put my foam tape down, move it to the other side, 
that's as far as they will go and then I'll just use a couple small pieces in here because I want to make sure it doesn't collapse in the centers and then before I attach that down our card base I'm going to to our card base I'm going to go ahead and stamp on the inside because I have to right so I've got my tightrope we're going to stamp that down using some of that blackout ink and then I have our clown which I'm going to ink him up using that sweet petunia pink and we're going to do first second and third generation stamping so first second and third that's all that is so we don't re-ink we just stamp down what is already on there and I love it because it looks like he's really moving fast to try and stay on that tightrope and then we stamped our sentiment in there as well hope your day is over the top we'll peel off of our, all of our release paper off the back of our card panel and then when all of that is off of there we're gonna line that up and we'll have a nice little white border all around the edges our final step would be to attach down the sentiments that we stamped earlier. It says, Bravo, you're amazing. I love it. And that's that. How cute. We have this fun little teetering card. He's so cute. Uh, I sure hope you guys like him. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And as always, I will see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.